Hi everybody, I'm Anne, and this is not a video to watch. This is a video to put on if you need to get some sleep. I'm going to go through a whole lot of Swiss Army knives. I find it so comforting to, I don't know, listen to videos about Swiss Army knives because there's nothing unexpected. They're very reassuring. And I want to make a video for you specifically for if you can't sleep and you just want an opportunity to listen to something boring, something just interesting enough to hold your attention so you can drift off to sleep. So welcome to kind of like Good Night Moon. Good night, Swiss Army Knife. So of course this video is for you if you are having a hard time sleeping. We're going to just go through Swiss Army Knives. Nothing exciting, nothing too new. We'll take a look in each drawer here and bring some of these out. Well, this is about as exciting as Swiss Army Knives get actually. The Nail Clip 580. Such an interesting mechanism on this nail clipper here. It really is wonderful. I like it quite a bit. It's a bit thick for my taste, and honestly, I just use the scissors to cut my nails. Anyway, this is out of the Delamont series. It still does have a blade. And then the nail file does have a good nail cleaner tip. I prefer this kind of stippled nail file. On the back has the Delamont style scissors. And hopefully that's as exciting as we'll get this evening. I'm making this video because I want this video to exist. There's something so comforting about Swiss Army knives, I don't know what to say. I've had several people say to me in the comment section that they have fallen asleep with their Swiss Army knife in their hand, and I've done that as well. So this also is a Delamont series knife. It seems to be an Executive 81 here. Nice scissors. Blade, I like that blade shape. I like that this is a little bit bigger than the Classic SD. Don't prefer the scissors, but I like that the nail file does have the nail cleaner tip. And it has that better type of file than some of these that we see other times. And of course the scale tools. Huge fan of the tweezers in particular. And then also a toothpick here. Can you hear Finn scratching in the background? He's up with me here too. Now what do we have here? Oh yeah, this is just a regular classic SD. Got the blade, which I've shown you twice now. The nail file, this time with a screwdriver tip, because it's a classic SD, and then the scissors over here. I like the Victorinox scissors better, it cuts nails better, and, and then the toothpick and tweezers. I like how they're directly across each other and centered on the Classic and Classic SD. Now I do have two of these for some reason. <laughs> this is a Classic in the red Edelweiss pattern. I think it's really pretty. Um, toothpick and tweezers again. And over here we've got the scissors, the regular Victorinox scissors. And over here, a blade and that nail file with the nail cleaner tip. And again, this is the nice stippled file. We won't see that everywhere. All right, well, what's in here? Oh, this is an interesting one. Check this out. It says corn products. Why does it say that? No one knows. I got this at a antique store. It has no spring. I can replace that, I'm sure. It's 
interesting. Maybe somebody knows. This is made of something different than Celador. I don't know what. The blade shape seems to be about the same. I don't know if we can see this. Tang stamp here. Victorinox, Switzerland. Stainless rust fry? No. Well, I could probably read that if I had glasses on. Doesn't really seem like this was used a lot. And then, nail file with a nail cleaner tip. I, I don't know. I like to have this one because it's old. And I found it around here, and I think it's funny. It says corn products. I found something else that day. I'll show you, too, when we get to the 85 millimeters. All right, look at this big one here, the Mini Champ. You know, I've never made a video about this because, well, because it annoys me. <laughs> Sorry, trying not to laugh in this video or say anything that would create controversy, but I get that it's amazing, but also it has too many tiny little knives. I know, I'm sorry. There's the regular blade. After that, we've got oh, everyone's favorite tool. Love this thing. Actually does work as a cap lifter and such a nice little screwdriver for Phillips screws at the end. Of course, the scissors is amazing as always. I actually tried to carry this instead of a Swiss champ for a while. Did not work out. Tweezers. Love the tweezers. Glad they always get rid of the toothpick and not the tweezers. I think I missed something over here. No. Then over here, of course, we have the pen. Back here, nail file the nail cleaner tip. So this is the good one. This is one way to get the nail file with the nail cleaner tip. Love that. The tracheostomy blade. Love that. Hope I never get to perform a tracheostomy with that blade though. <laughs> oh yeah. Love this one actually. Package opener. You know, maybe my feelings about this have changed. I really do like all of these blades. The thing is, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't really use them. It does give you an opportunity to keep a sharp blade, though. I think that, you know, it is actually reasonable to have a cuticle pusher in a Swiss Army knife. I don't see that as a problem. I know that's not what it was originally for. I think it's some kind of a pharmaceutical spatula, right? Let's see. I'm definitely missing something here. Oh yeah, this guy. Um, so it's a screwdriver. I thought it had a ruler on it. Oh, it does. I just can't see it very well. There you go. So I do like to measure stuff, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's fun. Fun Swiss Army knife. Oh yeah, now here's my baby, the Rambler. Put green scales on it because they're cool. Got another one of these nice tools, good for, you know, dealing with whatever recessed Phillips screws you have to deal with. The blade. Back over here, the nail file with the screwdriver tip, which, you know, after I carried the Classic SD for a while, I came to appreciate this tool because it really does do a lot. You just have to be more creative. You can't just think of it as a nail file with a screwdriver tip. You've got to be creative with it. And then here we have the scissors. And then both the scale tools. This is such a great tool to me. It makes so much sense to have both of the, both of the different screwdrivers in here. All right, well, this guy's discontinued. The manager. 
I really do love this because it is one upgrade. Uh oh, got my pen stuck. There we go. That's an, kind of an upgrade for the Rambler. You know, if you haven't figured it out, the point of this video is to be boring and chatty so you can fall asleep. I'll never monetize this video. Let's go into the top here. I've got a lot of my prettiest Swiss Army knives in the top. Here's a beautiful set. Check this out. Two blades. Oh, love that snap. Should have brought a cloth with me here. My fingerprints on everything. It's not good to forget the names of Swiss Army Knives and Swiss Army Knife videos, but here we are. <laughs> I know somebody or possibly everybody will tell me in the comments section, but hopefully you're all asleep by now. Got a lot of knives to get through though, so if you're not, don't worry. I do really love this. This little blade is just amazing to me. Such a beautiful and satisfying package here. And I love this smooth and shiny Alox in the green and blue. All right. Now here's one that I found at a resale store or an antique store. I had to look this up. At first I thought it said defibrillator, but it says defibrator, which is a device used to remove fiber from cotton, I think. And there's no cotton around here, so maybe that wasn't with. Check this out though, you guys. Here's the thing about this. It's got a clip point blade. Isn't that cool? I love that. That is why I got this, but I've thought about sending this back to Victorinox because things do not line up correctly in here somehow. Everything else on here is normal. It's 58 millimeters. It says again on the blade, defibrator. And also, this is the same handle as that corn products knife that I showed you earlier. Yeah, see, I have to guide this back into place. Otherwise, it gets into hitting the cap lifter and big screwdriver. And over here, we have the can opener and the 2D Phillips. And the back layer tools are a corkscrew that it is fluted. Isn't that pretty? Although getting one in my hands, I can actually see this fluting is a little weird, almost. The, it's not even all the way around and I'm not sure why that would be. I do think it looks really pretty, but it also looks maybe a little like it was done after the fact. And then check this out, the awl or a reamer, I guess, cause it has no, no eye in it. I guess, or maybe that makes it an all. I don't know. I'm sure somebody or everybody can tell me that in the comments if they want, but I hope you are all asleep. We're 13 minutes into this and you guys, I got a lot more Swiss army knives. I was hoping this video would be about an hour so you can be guaranteed to fall asleep. All right. What have we got here? Oh yeah. This is gorgeous. I love the Bantam. It's such a, ugh such an awesome knife. You know, I don't love the combo tool, but people, so much function in something this slim, narrow, light, and easy to pack. I really love this tool, and I got it in the green Alox from Swiss Knife Shop. If you look around, you can find different color Alox from different places. I really love that one. Oh yeah, now where did I get this guy? Oh, this is the 2020 special edition. Yeah, also an 85 millimeter or 84 millimeter knife, cap lifter there. All right, blade. Oh, 
so cool. I love this. And, of course, it's the Cadet. I really love the Cadet because of this nail file. And I like that it has something better for Phillips screws than the Bantam. It is thicker, though. I mean, it's kind of a lot thicker. Let's look at them compared to each other here. Try to line those up a little bit. I mean, it really is a lot thicker. Obviously, it's got two layers here. And with the ALOX being so thin, I don't know, it almost makes that second layer seem thicker. So, I don't know what to say about that, you guys. I love the Bantam for how thin it is, but I really love the Cadet for the enhanced functions. Now, you've seen all of those others before, so... Let's kind of move on to some pretty scales here. I've shown these previously, but why not? I'm gonna pull out several of these here. I keep all these in the top shelf because I think they're pretty and interesting. Ooh, there's a 74. Another cool scales. I could see myself collecting all the bare scales. And here is my favorite scales. I love this one, the Space Tour. I actually don't know where I got this one. It was very recently, so it's probably still available, whoever's selling it. You know, the thing is they often put these scales that I like so much on knives that I wouldn't really carry. In this case, it's a Tinker, which I do love the Tinker, don't get me wrong, but just not the tool set that I would be totally looking for all the time. These new ones really do snap extra good, don't they? Can you hear that? I've got the microphone on. Yeah, it's nice. And this back layer Phillips, which I do like it. I do like it, don't get me wrong. But of course, pretty much everybody likes the inline Phillips better, and I'm no exception there. And then, can anybody tell me, what is it about the awl that makes it so difficult to get out? Is it because it's safer when it is out? I don't know. Now, I'm very, very happy to have this guy. Scales are a little bit worn, but it's an executive. Oh, I love this nail file so much. So, I don't know, elegant. This style, I don't know, this kind of nail file that's not stippled but has the lines in it that go across is really good for filing your nails to shape them. Which I think really fits with the executive. This little blade is awesome. Very cute. And then we'll move along. Here's the large size blade. I really love the 74 millimeter series. I feel like compared to the 58 millimeters, this blade is so much more functional. Let's pull one out. That is a nail file. There we go. I mean, it really is quite a difference here. This blade is so much longer, you can get so much more done with it. And it feels sturdier as well. So I really love this knife. All right, well, let's get on to the special feature here, the orange peeler. Literally designed to be an orange peeler, and it works. Makes a really nice package opener as well. You know, it's sharp, but not as sharp, I guess. Such a cool tool. I am sad they discontinued it, but I can see why. They can't really change the name of that tool. And I can see how it doesn't necessarily appeal. Now here's the Cherry Blossoms from Swiss Knife Shop. And it's just on a 
Spartan here. Really pretty 3D printed scales. The printing does wrap all the way around the edges here, which I really like about this. I love the blue and the pink. I just wish these were plus scales, you guys. Really wish this one was plus scales. These would absolutely go on my Swiss champ. Printing does not go all the way around the edges on these, though. But still, I love this. It says, you see that? Feel the fear and do it anyway. Is that what it says? Feel the fear and go anyway? Let's see. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Yeah, it's written sideways. Love that. All right, and then here we have, oh yeah, Hiker Bear. I love Hiker Bear and Camper Bear. I love Hiker Bear a little more because I probably do a lot more hiking than camping. Of course, uh, this is on a hiker. Both of these have the really nice saw. Oh, looks like I may have actually used this saw. That's cool. And then <laughs> Space Bear. Oh, this bear series is so cute. I love Space Bear. So this also has three-dimensional printing to it, just like the uh, flower cherry blossom one does. And like Tobias Gibson talked about recently, here's the bear, like a little green man, meaning the space guy in space. I guess this run really does bring me back to my childhood, which was completely filled with thoughts of traveling to space, which I totally haven't done. And I brought this guy out as well. You may recognize the color, 2021, an orange Alox. I think this is the Pioneer X. Love that scissors on here. This is just a really nice tool here. You've got the regular cap lifter and the can opener in front. And then you've got the scissors, knife blade, very sturdy. Locks in place so well, and I love the grip on this A locks. Such a great, such a great tool. And then, honestly, this all, I just, I don't know, I like it so much better. Very pokey, good for poking things. A lot of people say they use this for a package opener, which kind of gives this the second blade function. Of course, these have no back layer tools. I think that actually looks kind of cool. Yeah, so really a lot of good utility in this. Really nice. I think it would be cool if it were a Farmer X. All right, well, let's put these away and we'll move on to some other Swiss Army knives. And at this point, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be bringing out, but I'll bring out whatever I got here. All right. So this is <laughs> my super tinker which is always undergoing some sort of testing. This is a nail polish test that I would, thought was gonna fail, but actually it worked out really, really well. And then this is a puffy sticker test. Yes, I was gifted these puffy stickers for this knife. Maybe not for the knife, but I was gifted the puffy, puffy, puffy stickers. And you know, they do give you a good grip. I'm sure they'll wear off over time, but honestly, this knife is so cute right now. Anyway, this is a super tinker. Has a can opener, cap lifter. If you're thinking this is a boring video, I hope you caught that the purpose of this video is to let you fall asleep. I really wouldn't watch this video while you're awake. Maybe I'll make an intro that makes that a little more clear. Really nice scissors. Ugh, this blade really is nice. Isn't that well proportioned here? I really, really like that. Yeah, easy to use. 
very functional. But you know, I so often choose to not use the large blade because instead I'm using the small blade. That is usually my choice to use the small blade. And on the back layer, we've got that Phillips, which I do really like. I do like it. And then the hook. I've used the hook for a few things. And the awl with the hole, the eye. I want to do some leather working just so I can get a good chance to use that awl. All right, what do we have here? Oh, this is nice and big. Oh, yes. Can you tell what this is just by looking at the top? Get a good sense there. That'll be your clue probably, huh? We'll start at the back this time. We've got a small blade. It's great. You know, it's funny because when you look at it like it's such a small blade on this handle, but it is so functional. I really love it. I've thought about changing and keeping the small blade sharp and using the large blade more because, you know, the small blade is actually probably gives you a little bit better control. And I've started using some washi tape in my calendars and I like to cut it once it's in there. You know, I stick it down and then I cut the edge. Okay, here's the saw. Can you tell what this is yet? It's a huntsman. Anyway, so if I, I feel like if I can get the small blade sharp, that's easier to use to cut the washi tape, even in shapes. First time I used this knife was for the video where I compared it with the MKM knife, which incidentally, when I tried to take off its scales, everything got crazy inside. And now I, ugh, I need to do some work to put it back together. I bent the liners and I don't know, I was really annoyed. But honestly, it really doesn't compare to this knife to me because while I really do love the saw on that knife, I really do, this guy has a lot better um, blade setup. That weird serrated blade just drove me crazy. And this is so much better. I want to work on finding more uses for the hook and the awl. I don't use them that much. On my Swiss Champ, I use the corkscrew to store a safety pin and a paper clip because those things have come in handy for me numerous times, whereas that tiny little screwdriver hasn't come in handy and it fell out and I lost it, so I could get another one, but anyway. This is nice. I mean, it is pretty thick, right? Four layers. Way thicker than the Super Tinker, even though it's only one layer thicker. Feels a lot thicker. But it gives you a lot more function, and I obviously carry the Swiss Champ usually, which is way thicker. And you guys, oh, this is my wintertime, nighttime Swiss Army knife. Yeah, I know that sounds crazy, but it is. It's the Huntsman Light. Oh yeah, love it. It has a light on it, and opposite the light, an inline screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, which is totally awesome. Of course, it has the opener layer here. It's got a cap lifter. It's got a can opener. You know, these can openers do work really well. Everybody says they don't have cans that need to get opened like that. In the United States, we've got a lot of cans that get opened like that. Tons. I guess pole tabs are more common other places, but they're not as common here. Now, in the winter, I like to have the saw because if I'm starting a fire, a lot of times I'll use the saw for one reason or another to cut off a little side branch or whatever, and then I try to save the sawdust and use it to get the fire started. So I find that really useful. 
And of course the two blades. Love that. I do like having two blades because I want one to be sharp. And you know, so I kind of really do prefer that. Of course on the companion they have the package opener, so that's no problem. And then this, I think it came with plus scales. Oh yeah, it looks like I've borrowed the uh, toothpick for something. I've got the pen, the tweezers, and then here I do have the eyeglass screwdriver because I haven't lost it yet. But I really only carry this at home and then, you know, if I have to get up at night to do something or take the dogs out, this light is actually enough. Especially when there's snow on the ground, this is bright enough. It's not like amazing, but it's bright enough. In fact, for navigating around the house, the new Swiss Army Knife light is more than enough. I actually prefer the old one. I've got another Swiss Army Knife with an old light on it, which is very dim, but it's wonderful for navigating around the house at night. Well, I really do not know what I have here. Hmm. Something older with a different scale material. Does have a toothpick and tweezers. Looks like it's going to be a Spartan. Let's check it out. I did buy some Swiss Army knives from eBay and I felt that I had some mixed results from that, so I kind of quit that. I know a lot of people love to buy their Swiss Army knives on eBay. I think I, I don't know if I'm too picky or if I don't have the patience. I know some people have gotten great deals and I love to get a great deal. Oof. I really love that. It's just so like easy to do things with. Such a nice small blade. And then the corkscrew. I have used this to open wine. I'm not sure I prefer using this method to open wine, but definitely works if need be. Just saw a nice video on how not to ruin your all by closing it on your key ring by Nick Giver. Really nice video. I enjoyed it quite a bit especially since I just kept closing this on here. These guys are empty. These are from the two that you saw earlier, which name I can't think of. All right, ooh, an Evo Wood. I think this is the Evo Wood 10 here. It's gonna be a very simple choice. Very pretty knife. You know, I let's just compare this. We're gonna compare these blades. You know, I always feel like I like Evolution series blade shape a little more. It's like just slightly friendlier. Maybe because it's smiling a little bit there. More of a curve on this one on the right here. I do really like that. Sad the Evolution series is going away here. I think that it really does offer something very valuable with this guy right here, the nail file with a nail cleaner tip. And, you know, this is just also good for poking at stuff. A lot of times I use my fish hook disgorger on the Swiss Champ to poke at things, and you can do the same thing with this. To just something you don't want to touch, you can fix with that. I really like the wood scales on this, to be honest. I think it's really pretty. I wish it didn't decrease the utility of it oh, in that is, all right, let's compare this too. This is just not my favorite shape of cap lifter. This one I like. This one is annoying. We don't have to get into why. You can look back at my previous videos if you really want to know why. But I don't want to say anything that's too exciting here because we're all supposed to be sleeping. And I think it's well after midnight here. Well, here's some wood scales. Oh, that is really pretty, isn't it? I love the green on that. I just think this is probably the prettier. This is the prettier of the two. I made a video kind of comparing some of these wood scaled knives. 
Very pretty. Let's see what we got here. Can opener. And a cap lifter. I really never use it in this orientation. I get that it's cool that it can do this, but I never even would think of this. I'm sure I would if I was in a situation where I needed to turn a screw and either it wouldn't fit or I needed extra torque. Nice blade shape. You know, this Victorinox blade shape in general is very friendly. I'm just saying the Delamont series shape is a little bit friendlier. Well, we seem to have another nice and probably totally unused blade there. Wouldn't it be prettier if this were a fluted corkscrew? That would be an interesting thing. Aftermarket corkscrew fluting. I wonder if anyone is going to open a business doing that. And then the all. Man. That is hard to open. My fingernails getting destroyed making this video. Oh yeah, you guys. And here we have the original companion with these beautiful scales which are so historical. Honestly, I never really carried this except when I was trying to test it out right after I got it. It is pretty. It does not have scale tools. It does not feel like something that should be carried. Of course, this companion series, instead of the can opener, it has the package opener. It's funny, it looks so different in pictures. It's hard to realize, yeah, it really is thin. This looks like it would be really, really thick and we're looking at it like it's a perspective, but it's totally not. I can't wait to find out if this is gonna be dulled and how hard or easy it will be to resharpen it. Well, let's move on to another drawer here. Oh my goodness. Now this is not 100% Victorinox, you guys, so we probably won't look at everything in this drawer. Ooh, yeah, so 84 and 85 millimeter knives fit and on in here. So I think that's going to be most of what we're looking at. Oof, all right. What do we have here? Oh yeah, I know what this is. It's a Tinker Small. I love the Tinker Small. It is small, smaller than a Tinker. And it does have that half stop here. So the Delamont series knives are the same length, but they don't have the half stop there. This is discontinued, you guys. It's so sad. But even though I say I wouldn't really carry a Tinker because it doesn't have the tool set that I need, and it doesn't. At the same time, this Tinker Small is just, oh, it's so amazing. Like, if it came with the scissors, it would be more amazing, right? Make it a super tinker. But just being a little bit smaller, it's it makes a big difference. It's like, uh, it, it does make a big difference in the feel of this. And maybe only because I'm used to the 91 millimeter models. And that Phillips there. Looks like I've borrowed the uh, toothpick on this one for something as well. All right. Now this is an Evo grip, and uh, it has a locking one, so it's an S. This should be the Evo grip S18. I got this after Daphne Devi made her video, and I was like, oh my gosh. When she was talking about um, her motorcycle kit, this was in it. She was talking about how much she likes this knife. I was like, oh, that is a woman who loves that Swiss Army knife, and her love for this was just infectious. There's that cap lifter I don't like. I'm going to move this. I can't get the camera to focus. It's a little too close. Here we have that saw, which uh, works fantastically. Love the Victorinox saw. So reliable. Never sharpened any of mine. And here's the blade. There's a little safety stop there. I mean, it looks great. And I love that it has this locking feature. However, if I was using this, 
I can see that I could actually be like unlocking the blade while I'm working on something. It's just right exactly where you would grip it. And I, I mean, I get why this is being discontinued. Yes, it is locking. I did not understand though that the lock is like that. So if you're holding it like this, you're good. But if you're really going to grip it, you're not good and you're relying on the detent anyway. And it's giving you a false sense of security. So I do understand why this is going away. I'm glad I have it though. I always will love that there's a nail file on this. But also for this knife, I could totally see not having that nail file and instead having another blade because how are you going to keep that blade sharp? You're not. Sometimes people complain this can catch on things. I don't. Ha I haven't carried this enough times to be able to say one way or the other. I do like the Evo Grip scales quite a bit, though. They really are very nice and grippy. All right, now here is a personal favorite, and I'll give you a clue right away. Yes, this is the Sportsman. Another one with a nail file here, and again, it's the shorter size, the 84 millimeter. You know, I've always wanted to look to see if I can tell the millimeter difference here. Yeah, I guess it does look a little bit shorter, doesn't it? Compared to the 85 millimeter Delamont series. I made a whole video about this because I think it's such a great knife and I called it the Victorinox Sportswoman just to, well, probably just to irritate people a little bit and get them to feel like I was being dumb. And I was kind of being dumb. I'm not really saying they should change the name but it is a great women's knife because it has that nail file and it's smaller it's cuter we like all these things but, you know i made that video when the companion hadn't come out in its nice new scales i love how much easier it is to open these shorter awls too just wish it had a scissors like the tinker small oh no here's one no back layer tools what do we have here? Oh yeah, baby, it's a walker. I love the walker. This is such, oh, first of all, the snap on that is amazing. This is such a great tool. It's like a bantam, except it's got the saw. I really love this knife. It is just the sleekest thing for me so small. If you're not going to carry a Swiss champ, you might as well carry a walker, <laughs> at least if you want the saw. Got a couple more Delamonts here to look at. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Let's do this one first though. So this you will recognize from what we just did, right? This uh, has a saw and a blade and nail file with the filey part facing away. And if I can get to it. There we go. Has a scissors. Oh, look at that, that's interesting. Got a little stuck there. And, and uh, of course, it has the can opener and the cap lifter. It's an Evo Grip 18, not an Evo Grip S18, but in the yellow scales. Cool, huh? Got that one kind of by accident. Thank you, eBay. Now, this guy, though, oh, yeah, the Evolution 23. I really do love this. Really love this knife. This is my favorite Evolution series knife. Can opener, cap lifter. Okay, I said that. I think it's my favorite. Now, I do really appreciate this tool right here. This magnifying glass, for sure, is not as good as the magnifying glass on the Swiss Champ or anything larger. But it totally works. I would not use this for anything where I was going to twist a lot because it seems like that's when people lose the magnifying glass out of these. 
but it really does work. It's not as good, but it works. And there's so many Swiss Army knives that don't have a magnifying glass. I love that it has the magnifying glass and the saw. This is the smallest way to get both of those, a magnifying glass and a saw. And that is how I ended up with this. It's got a nice blade there, and I do like that blade shape. I like the feel of these Evolution series. It feels really good in your hand. And then the nail file, which I completely love. I mean, this really is, I don't, when I'm carrying this instead of the Swiss Champ, which I really don't do now that I have a backup Swiss Champ, this used to be the knife I would carry if I, you know, misplaced the Swiss Champ. But whenever I have carried this, I don't really feel like I'm missing a lot. Now, obviously, I'm missing some things. You know, I am missing the fish hook disgorger with the ruler, and I use that to poke stuff. I'm missing the pliers I use sometimes. I'm definitely missing the pen, but I really don't feel like unprepared when this is my Swiss Army knife. I really do enjoy this one quite a bit. All right. I actually ended up with two of these. I thought one of mine had been stolen, but it wasn't. Victorinox Rescue Tool. So it is a one-hand opening knife. Partially serrated on the front, which is awesome. But this is actually not the main blade on here. It's got this weird left-handed unlocking thing, too. The main blade on here is this blade, the rescue blade. I think it's really nice. So the thing to remember about this is that the blades open the same direction. I just got it mixed up here for you guys right now, but it's like one in the morning, so you know. The opposite direction is this glass saw. I think they call it a disc saw, but I feel like that may have been a mistranslation of something. And then over here, instead of the can opener, it has a glass breaker kind of in this spot. And there's this empty gap here, which I feel like you could use for something, but I don't know what. And then this really nice and sturdy, um, I mean, I guess it is a cap lifter, but really most usable as a prying tool. Nice and sturdy. Toothpick and tweezers still there. Now this does lock. And then it does have back layer tools in all, which I'm not going to open. And this screwdriver. This is really nice. I really like this tool. I keep one in my car all the time. God willing, I will never have to use it, but it glows in the dark as well. It really does. And I love this holster that comes with it as well. All right, well, let's get all these back in here. Yeah, I still have this from that one video where I looked at uh, ways to keep a uh, Okay. Yeah, this one doesn't really fit. Now we're going to move on. To some larger Swiss Army knives. Oh yeah, this is great. Love this. Love this so much. Yeah, maybe I can... I, these taller drawers, I don't think it wants to focus here. The work champ. I got a whole video about the work champ. No, actually I don't. I have a video about a holster for the work champ. I do love this knife. And like I said in that video, this is a knife that is just like the guy that shows up, does not get involved in the drama, just gets the work done. Not excited, just working. Does have a lock. Nice, sturdy, also locking cap lifter and screwdriver. It's not really locked in this position, but it does have that stop, so you could use this to really get a lot of torque. I've literally never done that, I think. That's all right. This knife is ready for all sorts of things that I've never done. Now, this is so interesting to me. 
And this is actually part of the problem with this. This is actually why this knife did not do super well in my IKEA furniture, Swiss Army knives versus IKEA testing. So here is the little pliers, which is definitely useful for some things. However, you have to open the pliers to get to this larger screwdriver. And then to put it away and switch to something else, you have to open the pliers again. And you know, um, that is kind of a drawback. And we've got a similar setup here. See, I can't get this out. I've got to open the scissors. When I open the scissors, I can take out the smaller. Now, I could still use it like this, right? Like I could use it like that, but there's a scissors poking back kind of at my arm here. I don't know. So every time I've used any of these, I've always folded in the tool that's on the opposite side that's covering it. So that's a little, a little different here. Now, is that a big deal? Honestly, so many people are carrying a multi-tool where you have to open the pliers in order to get out the tools. This really should not be a big deal. And yet it still annoys the snot out of me. So, all right, here's the saw. I, whoops, the saw and the file, I got both. This saw is really nice. All of the Victorinox saws are really nice. And I like these longer ones. It is thin down here, that's for sure, but I haven't, I haven't bent it, so I haven't bent any of these longer ones. And then out here is the file, which, you know, I really don't file that much stuff except for my nails. So this is a little bit of overkill for nail filing, but I like that it's here. And then the toothpick and tweezers. Back layer tools are going to be all. And then the corkscrew that actually comes with the little eyeglass screwdriver in there. You know, I do love this tool. Like, it is very functional. All right, now here is a nice one. The Skipper. Not the Skipper Pro. The Skipper. I got this one. I think this was from Swiss Knife Shop, and I think it was on sale. First of all, it's amazing because it has this nice blade, which is serrated on the end, but not serrated back by the handle here. Also, this is the old style lock, which I completely love. I know they changed it for some good reason, but I'm so glad to have an example of this. This was new old stock. I'm so excited to get this. Now, similar to the WorkChamp, this pliers folds up right over this Phillips, which is in line. I love how it sits approximately in the middle there. So cool. Really love that. All right, now we're getting to the coolest feature on here, the Marlin Spike. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. And it's a shackle opener too. And if you wanna know about shackle openers, Go watch Tobias Gibson's video on those. That's what I watched to learn about them. Very interesting. Now check this out. Here's the cap lifter. And then here's the work champ back again. And here's the cap lifter here. This is totally not the same thing. And in fact, if I bring in this 91 millimeter cap lifter, this is the same. These two are the same, even though the knives are different, right? And on this similar 111 millimeter length knife is the work champ. This is a different cap lifter from this. Very interesting, right? This is the locking version. So I don't know if new skippers, which have the locking blade with the other style of lock, are going to have the same cap lifter and small pry bar as the work champ with that style of lock, but I do love this. Very cool. And then a corkscrew and an awl on the back. Toothpick and tweezers. And seriously, these scales are amazing. Incidentally, you can buy these scales separately. So if you want to dress up your work champ and pretend it's a skipper, you can totally do that. But I really wanted a Marlin Spike and I was so excited when I got this with the old lock style. Oh, so amazing. Now, Let's see, move on to this guy, I guess, here. So this, I think, has also been discontinued. I don't know, you guys. They discontinued some that seem a little silly to me. 
So this is the Cyber Tool Light. It has a flashlight on it, and it is the new style flashlight, like with my Huntsman. And the flashlight points the same way as this driver, which of course is the thing that makes it amazing to have one of these. And you know, I'm going to make a whole video on this, so I don't want to go into too much detail, but this is a great antiquing knife. It's really nice. And of course, when we open this, Underneath here is where the other bits are stored. All these four millimeter bits are stored right in here and each of them is double ended. This is really, really well engineered. It's very pleasing to use this tool. I love it with the light on it. And then I love that the other side is a magnifying glass. Oh, this is just such a great knife. It is about the size of the Swiss Champ and it would be the right choice for people that really want that flashlight for people that really want those bits and for people that don't use a saw still has the cap lifter and the can opener but wouldn't this be better don't you think this would be better if it had oh I really do think this would be better if this had the companions package opener there and then instead of two blades you could have the nail file over here I think that would be better for this of course, when they developed this, that wasn't an option. I really love this knife. This is such a cool deal. It has the scissors, which, you know, is actually good for tons of stuff. It's meant for working on computers, which definitely it would be useful for that. But in fact, I have an interview I haven't yet published with a man who put together an entire computer, basically just with a wasn't a cyber tool light, it was some cyber tool though. It does have some back layer tools here as well. We've got the awl, the hook, and the corkscrew with the eyeglass screwdriver. And it does have plus scales, so this is a pen right here. Such an amazing knife. So glad I have this one. Yeah, this one's getting its own video pretty soon. All right. <laughs> oh, man. So I do love this. You know, I don't think I'm going to open every single tool on this. But this is the Swiss Champ XLT, I believe. It's a very cool knife. It has a few extra things. Here's one of them. The pharmaceutical spatula. You know, all the stuff I do with this or that people say they do with this. I just do it with my fish hook disgorger, which is also on here. They're not the same, but yeah, I do love this. There are people that carry this as an EDC and I can understand why. Now the other thing that's totally cool on this, let's see, I think they stuck these right in the middle. Yeah. Here's the electrician's blade. I love that the electrician's blade is on here, but you know what I love more than that? Oh, I never get enough chances to use this. And it's a little hard to get out. There we go. The pruning blade. Oh, I love this pruning blade. So I guess there's actually four blades on this. This would totally be one where you could replace the small blade with the package opener, or the small blade with a nail file and then replace the can opener with a package opener. Well, maybe not. Anyway, I love the pruning blade on this. And so I really love this knife. I was hoping that this could be my EDC, but you know, it's got everything. It just has everything. I love these small four millimeter bits. I love that it contains this here. Such a great knife. This really is good for everything. Gosh, the more I carry this now, the more I would like it. You know, honestly, I wish that they would have replaced this inline Phillips because you already have the 2D Phillips on the can opener, plus you have some real Phillipses in here. I wish that they had replaced this with a flashlight. Man, this is a nice knife. Gosh, I forgot how much I like this, but gee whiz, is it huge. I mean, it's really big. All right, and as we end 
near the end of this video. I've got a few more things to show you. So this is a Delamont knife. S54 maybe? I can't remember. S because it's locking. So here's the blade and it locks. And same thing, your index finger, if you were really working, might hit this. You know what, this just has everything on it. Everything. So of course it has to have a locking blade. I'm sure this one is discontinued. All of these Delamont ones are discontinued. And it's got the nail file. It's got a pliers, which is very cool because this pliers is like, a, what do you call this, a slip joint pliers? So it can change size for you. And then you can get it back to smaller. So you can use it for different stuff. Very cool. Super, super glad I have this. I'm super glad I have this, I guess, as a collector because I have literally not carried this even one day. Very nice file here. Ugh, love this. Yeah, I love it, but I've never used it. Isn't that silly? This saw is nice, but I do feel like this handle, I don't know, I feel like the handle is so big, it would impede my ability to saw very well. So I feel a little mixed feelings, I guess, about that. Now next to the saw, we have this same tool that I showed you on the Evolution 23. A small screwdriver and the magnifying glass and I do find the magnifying glass really really nice to have in fact in the video where I looked at what I did with a Swiss Army knife in a regular day that was in there so here this fish hook disgorger and fish scaler is different you know Nick Guyver says this is actually another blade you know on this one it feels like a dull blade so yeah this one feels like a blade on here. All right, what have I got here? No, oh, that's the one I just had. It's hard to even see what I can open next. There we go. Oh, it's the scissors. Delamont style. Self-sharpening serrated scissors. And close that up. Now, I love this, this wrench, very cool. And it does work on an oxygen bottle. Across from that is our inline Phillips. Which is a little hard to get out. Very, very nice. Then we get on to a controversial item, okay? And I don't think the controversy is gonna get better today. All right, so where does it say is north? That is not correct. So, yeah. Now, there is some idea that you can take this out of here and hold it a little further away from the metal and figure out where is north. Yeah, it's totally not correct though. So I don't know if it's just been, when I've tested this before, it's been correct. So that's pretty interesting. Hmm. That's kind of disappointing. And this is the constant online complaint about this. It could be that I just don't know what I'm doing with this. And you know, that is actually the reason I have never made a video because I do not think I understand that compass enough to talk about it. So maybe someday I'll learn about that and make a video about this knife, but I feel kind of like a jerk making a video about a knife that you can't buy anymore. And there's the opener layers. On the back, you know, these Delamont knives don't really have that much stuff. So I do have the corkscrew and the awl, Ugh, and that is it. Nothing else fancy back here. So I think it's amazing. I'm super happy I have this. At this point, I wouldn't recommend anybody go buy that. All right, now here we have oh, the 
one-handed opening with some effort. Ranger grip, which this is actually right there. You can push that button to release the lock. For the longest time, I was just releasing it on the inside. This is actually my camping knife. Very interesting, yet another kind of cap lifter, or yeah, cap lifter over there. And there's the can opener. Interesting, isn't it, how they've got both the spot for the tweezers and the toothpick on the same side. I, of course, replaced mine with a fire starting thing here. I do love, love, love this saw. This is great. This is the knife I take with me if I'm going to be spending a lot of time at the wood pile, and I suspect I'm going to be cutting a lot of stuff. I just love it. It is really good size. It feels so efficient to use it. It's not heavy. It's wonderful. This is a wonderful tool. And you can put the little tinder pieces in here as well. It's one of my favorite knives. You know what? It's funny how your knives become more favorite the more you do with them. All right. Well, let's see what we've got here. I actually don't know. Clearly, this is an Alox series knife, 93 millimeters. We've got the awl and the blade. Now with fingerprints. Oh, here we go. A saw. This is going to be a farmer. Oh, yeah. Gotta love the farmer. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. This is it. This is the harvester. Yes, with that pruning blade. Oh, I've cut myself so many times with this. You really need to be careful when you're using this on actual plants. It's so efficient, so functional, so sharp. It is great, but you got to keep your fingers out of the way. And this tip just digs right in. Gives you tons of little cuts if you're not careful, which clearly I am not careful enough. I used to use this. We had this plant that needed to be trimmed like every week, and I was just so excited to get this out and trim it and cut myself. <laughs> Anyway, I love the Harvester. This is such a cool knife, but I can understand. Someone said in the comments the reason that they don't call it the Harvester anymore and call it the Swiss Army mm, 6, 7 is because they don't really want people to buy it who aren't familiar with uh, knife safety. Yeah, so that probably should include me. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, yeah. I figured somehow I ended up with two Harvesters. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, somehow I ended up with two harvesters. There we go. That's pretty awesome, though. Hmm. Really don't use the awls too much. Either kind of awl. Nice blade. And cap lifters. Very sturdy on these, on these models. Hmm. Yeah, I forgot I got a second one because I was afraid they were going to go away, and I like it so much. All right, now I think we are down to our last couple knives here. So I do have this guy. It is a one-handed trekker, and I really think it's cool. No, no button on the front of this one. To release this, you have to go like this. It has a saw in here. Let's just look at the, as we're taking time and just visiting, let's look at these different saws really is quite a bit longer on that ranger grip, isn't it? Quite a bit longer. Yeah, the one-handed trekker is classic. I probably would have gotten a one-handed forester if I was thinking about it. This is locked, just like on the work champ. Very nice. And then here we have the can opener. And the all oh, nice tool to have on here, though. Totally agree with it. This, I don't know. I just really, really like this knife. I haven't used it, unfortunately. That's part of the problem of collecting Swiss Army knives. Is there's absolutely not enough time to use everything that you own. Now here is my other work champ. <laughs> In the case, such a nice case, made by Wide River, which you can find on Etsy. High, high quality 
I use this case all the time. This is actually the work champ that I use. I'm not sure why I have two of them. And the other leather case I own, kind of in this size range, is for this guy. And this is our last knife of the evening. I hope that you are asleep. This is a Victorinox Wine Master. Hope I'll be asleep soon, too. I really love this big blade in here. This does have the push button unlock. This is, I think, I think I read, this is the only knife built on this Delamotte platform that Victorinox did. And it is just amazing with this wood. Oh, it's wonderful. Just a wonderful knife. Can't wait to review this. I feel so honored that Tobias Gibson asked me to review this. I was like, wow, I will totally do that. But then I'm afraid to actually do the review. Like, it's, it's a little bit above my pay grade, I feel like. I definitely don't drink enough wine. Now, this is a two-stage wine opener. So when you screw this into the cork, you're going to use both this and this to get it out. Like these are the steps that help you pull it out. It makes a huge, huge difference. Very classy in my opinion. And then this also has a little, this little cutter here is for the foil on the wine bottle. I'm going to have to start drinking more wine so I can do a better review of this. I really do love this tool. It, it's one of my favorite special use knives just because the quality is just so high like it just feels like quality and then even this leather case it came with is like very supple and very very nice well you guys i hope that you found this useful for falling asleep i hope you're getting some great sleep right now i will never monetize this so you'll never get woken up by some obnoxious ad thank you so much for joining me i am off to bed